So this is a part of what I picked up from the Harrison Dining Hall. Before going to the nest to get three different Lunchables, including the Ham and American Cracker Pack and the Turkey and American Cracker Pack. I have some coconut rice. Because I think it had some kind of connection to Peruvian chicken or buffalo chicken wings. Either way, I also got some milk and a Rocky Road brownie treat. But I didn't bring those with me to dad's place. I'm almost done with my VHL Central assignment. That's due by the end of today. Pretty much as soon as I moved in temporarily for dad's room for tonight until I imagine anywhere between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. For some reason, in the hours before my national security class, at 12.20 p.m., starting around that time, there was some point in which If I recall, I woke up with roughly 20 minutes before my online class. I took the time to go to the bathroom and to brush my teeth. Because one of my teeth, I believe it's my left bottom molar, felt kind of rubbery to me. It's feeling okay now. I have no idea if it has anything to do with the heartburn I experienced, which at times, which I tried to alleviate by drinking bottled splash water, bottled splash water. I don't have any heartburn right now. At least that's what I think it is. Since there were points in which I 
I felt a sort of burning sensation. And I think uh, my ch chest and it would radiate to my mouth or something. That's my best way to try to describe it. I also got some TGI Fridays potato skins and a box of Stouffer's mac and cheese. Dad got here in his car at around the exact same time as in I saw his car coming, pulling into the parking lot of Eagle Hall. At the front of the building. As I was walking to Eagle Hall from. My trip to get. Both dinner from. Harrison Dining Hall. And stuff from the nest. Those lunchables, and I guess technically maybe frozen TV dinners, or maybe not dinners, but snacks. And Dad suggested I get either subs today or a pizza. I believe this was sometime, it was either at 6 in the morning, but I think it's more likely to have been at 9.30 in the morning. I said that I would surprise him, and surprise him I did. I don't think he ex expected me to get Lunchables and that Stouffer's Mac and Cheese and the and the potato skins, excuse me. Excuse me, the whole thing Cost me anywhere from fifteen dollars to eighteen dollars in dining points, of which I still have a around a hundred and fifty dollars or so. So that's pretty good. I'm just uh, currently trying to make a custom prop for the 99th Dan Hamming episode. I worked on that consistently throughout the, primarily in the late night, early morning hours. I believe I fell asleep for about an hour or an hour and a half, sometime around two in the afternoon. There was some point in which I woke up 
at 3.30 p.m. My dad called me letting me know that he would come to pick me up in about uh, roughly two hours. I went to take a shower around 6. My dad called me while I was taking that shower. I tr ended up tracking soapy water on the bathroom floor, which I u of which I used an old towel to clean it up. And thankfully, I was still able to manipulate my phone screen even with with uh, wet hands. Because if I had missed that phone call, Dad probably would have rightfully assumed uh, that I was asleep and not come to pick me up today. I was able to finish the shower and ended up getting sweaty not only from that trip to uh, pick up the dinner at Harrison, of which this is only a small part of it, in the time it took me to pick up dinner, the nest went from being, I believe, empty to having a small line because it has a max occupancy of four due to uh, health and safety regulations regarding the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. So while I waited to get into the nest, I ate the Snicker bars that I got from the novelty ice cream cooler that they have on Wednesdays and Sundays at dinner. And then uh, after my national security class, I went to the Harrison building to go to the Harrison dining hall for lunch because they had a lunch special. Thing is, at that time, I wasn't very hungry. Probably due to that nap, unintentional nap I had. And so, I only ate part of the food that I got for lunch. Oddly enough, the impossible sliders ended up being spicier than the Southwest slider, which was specifically rated spicy. And uh, one of the staff an African-American male that who uh, knows me very well as a student at Brockport who tends to get a lot of food at lunch and dinner times. <laughs> Remember, I got the first impossible slider. He said... It's very much possible, that sort of thing. And then when I got the second one, he said, it's impossible for me to say no to giving a slider. Also, I had some kind of dream that seemed to me I think it was from that nap that brought me to right before my national security class. Of which I sort of hurried to go to the bathroom, brush my teeth while going to the bathroom. And get my laptop in position. Uh, because my laptop is in different positions, depending on whether I'm sitting on my bare mattress, I'm sitting on, on the chair by my desk, or whether I'm lying down on my bare mattress, I have my laptop in different positions for those. At some point, those uh, sticky things... The stickiness on them on the bottom of the laptop kind of wore out a bit. 
and one of them got some stuff stuck to it, so I opted not to stick it back on. <laughs> Though each time you do that, the bonding strength uh, kind of weakens. So, I have one of them on for now. I'm not sure how much longer that's going to be for. I only have one activity left to do for today's VHL Central assignment for my Intermediate Spanish 2 class, but it's something for which I only have one attempt on it, uh, which makes sense since uh, if you had unlimited, it would probably ruin the whole point of that activity. As it's just two multiple choice questions, but multiple choice questions have had unlimited attempts before, but these multiple choice questions have just two choices attached to them, and it's only two questions total regarding the, regarding a flash cultural or flash cultura video regarding the various professions that you can find people working. That particular video, that particular episode took place within Ecuador, but the professions they interviewed people belonging to, you can generally find those professions in any country throughout the world, for the most part. I had, uh, I used this big bag to carry not only the food from the Harrison dining hall, but also some laundry. I use my backpack to store not only the tech, the all, not only the textbook and notebooks I'll need for my class, online classes on Thursday and Friday, but also three Mountain Dew Rise energy drinks. I put behind the binder that holds the my notebook, my textbook for my Spanish class because that is more hardcover, technically speaking, than the notebooks for my Spanish class and my national security class. I'm currently here in terms of the research. I'm just currently not able to advance because I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, the night farms are too stringent when it comes to handing out night essence. This is a top-level night farm, and it only gives out 17 for 15 hours when I think... I think on air the average amount for those three technologies cost to activate is roughly 90, but that's just a random shot in the dark. But it should be pretty close to the real thing. And sure, upgrading the fairy portal site can give an extra boost to it, but it's almost at the maximum level, since it can only go up to level 4. For at least every settlement portal site that I've seen so far.
Uh, these are the notes I took during today's national security class, starting here and ending here. Here's the vanilla ice cream Dad got for me with hot fudge. If I recall, there was some point in which he went and made a stop at McDonald's while he was taking me to his apartment unit. I'm not entirely sure what he got. I think, he, if I had to guess, he either got cheeseburgers or chicken sandwiches because he met at some point during the drive to the McDonald's. He mentioned getting chicken. I asked if he meant chicken nuggets by saying something along the lines of, you mean chicken nuggets? Or maybe just simply chicken nuggets? And he said chicken sandwiches. I think there was also some point in which he said that he got essentially no food, but when I asked if he had soup by saying not even soup, he said that he had soup. And we talked about essentially how my lack of work experience is going to be a problem for me getting, finding work. About me needing to make a resume. and what not for the internship. I've noticed that lately car rides to which Dad picks me up to take me to his apartment unit from Brockport campus tend to be some involve some of the most serious conversations with between me and dad. <laughs>